Okay. <laughs> We're looking to see if we can cause any damage around the kingside area. Bit of a quiet opening that we've created here. Obviously, we need to get the bishop out as a basic necessity so that we can castle potentially on the kingside. So that should be pretty straightforward. Uh, I think I'm going to go with the touch on the king. Gets the bishop out and simple capture, not really messing about. got options taken with the queen or taken with the knight all pretty simple straightforward stuff it's big massive gaps here now so we're gonna have to look to get some activity in there but I think important thing is king safety getting castled so they take with the queen took a while with that move so I am gonna castle king safety Seems to make sense to me, it's pretty straightforward. And they oh they may have left the game. What? Maybe it's a connection problem. I don't think they would have left because well, you know, on purpose because there's nothing actually happening.
No, they've come back on. The green light is ready. Okay, so they're out. So I'm simply going to capture. So I think this gives us a little bit of a tempy win because they've danced early with the bishop there. We can start pushing onto this pawn here. If he does take, then obviously the queen's got no protection up, so we can take that queen. So that makes sense to me. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. In a longer game, probably not so because they're taking the time and having a look. Maybe in a quick blitz or bullet match, probably get away with it. So it looks fairly interesting to me so far. In any event, if he doesn't take, we'll probably just take. But we also need to look at getting our pieces activated. Maybe not behind the queen. Maybe to the side. Trying to own some files. He's not taken. So he's gone for a non-castling type thing. Does he feel that king safe there? That's the thing. So we said we're just going to take... I think the knight will probably take because he don't want to split his pawns up. Doesn't look like he wants to exchange the queen. Has to be mindful if this happens. Oh dear. So we can take this pawn here. We have to be mindful ourselves that the rook can come across. And is facing our king area. His queen is here. So I think we can take this pawn quite easily. But I think I'm expecting this rook to come here. Then we'll have to think about where we want to go from that point on. We can always come back here. It's just then he's going to have this. He's going to want his queen involved somehow. Or is he going to try and double up? Uh, he has gone for it as well. So he can't double there, but he could double here with his rook. So um, I think the safest place is to come back here, like we said. And he's probably going to attempt to double here, facing this. But we can simply just push the pawn. Yes. Our knight's not developed, a bit concerned about... Let's get the queen out of the way first. Oh, he's not going for that either. Oh, he's uh, doing something, but that's not really... It's still on the same diagonal. Why is that moved back there? I'm not sure what that queen move was, really. I think doesn't look like it's given them any benefit. We want to get our knight out into the game, probably challenging his knight. More pieces off the board, the better, isn't it? Challenge the knight, get rid of any confusion. He's got this here. What's he trying to do? That's an odd queen move. Um, I'm bringing the knight out and attacking the knight. Keeping things simple, straightforward, simple, direct, strategically, it seems sound to me. He's going to have to make a few moves to do all this, but it'll be a bit of a waste of time because we simply do that. We hope. <laughs> what is this queen doing? Hmm. No worries. So when they do it, oh no, he's gone for something. I didn't really expect that. Is that any good? Is that any good? Oh, hello. <laughs> I don't usually have people chatting on here. I just have a guy called Julio. <laughs> um, oh, you got me all nervous now. You shouldn't be watching. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, okay, so I'm going to grab here. That was a bit... So if we take... Then his rook comes and puts another check on. Do we just move out of the way? What's the knight doing? Knight can't come across here. 
It's all good at the minute. You're making me nervous watching. Can you hear me clearly? I'm testing out my microphone. I've changed it. I think I'm going to take here. That was an innocuous type of um, rook maneuver. That wasn't even in my calculation. Is there something special? Knight can't come here because we can just take. But then is he making space for his queen? Nothing can, we can then just take, can't we? And we can hide in the corner like we said. I'm struggling to see the magic here. He's taken what is going on. He wants to get rid of my queen from here. Oh, he's making space. Duh, he's making space to put a check on my king. Oh. That's a horse of a different colour, isn't it? If he comes there, we can push the pawn here and block it, can't we? Yeah, so take with the pawn and then we can push this pawn when he's looking for this shifty manoeuvre it looks like. That's well shifty, nice one. And what else is there? Yeah, he has gone for that. He has gone for it. We could push this one, we could push this one. Um, what's the problem pushing here? If I push here, does he challenge it? He's squeezing me, man. He's squeezing me. I think I'm going to push this, like I said. I don't see a problem with that. But he does have, like, access now, doesn't he? He's going for the answer process. Hmm. His signal keeps flashing on and off. Are they leaving now? Yeah, I'm not sure if there's any more meat on the bones for this one. Because we'll look to challenge his rook, won't we? Once his queen moves, or... Does he challenge this? Oh, what's that? that, is, that is that a blunder, or is he just giving up? Oh, don't tell me he's just going to let his time run down. Well, they've left the game 15 seconds. Why don't we just resign then? And then I can get on with my other stuff. Okay, that was an interesting game. Ish. We'll claim victory on that. Okay, cheers. Let's have a look at the uh, analysis. Quick shifty, just to see what was actually happening here. Okay, so they came down, we brought the bishop through. So they're winning at this moment in time, based on that type of opening. So they're still winning 0.7. And we capture, capture. And at that point there, minus 0.8 for us. Doesn't like that pawn move though. Well, we want to open up the bishop so that we can get castled, so it makes sense to me. Uh, putting a check on the king. It doesn't like that check on the king. Well, it's giving it's giving space for castling, and it's um, actually proactive by pressuring the king area. Can't really see a problem with that. So we grab castle, king safety, 
and then they attack our bishop. So simple is just capturing the bishop. So because the queen doesn't, I do like that sort of position. Like I say, if it was a faster game, sometimes you can get away with it because they forget themselves and they just take the pawn because the queen doesn't have anything behind it. But they took the time and brought the king down supporting. I'm not sure if that was the better move um, because obviously it's showing a bit more advantage to us here, minus 1.3. So we captured all. This was a very simple game. There's nothing fancy in this game at all. So the knight was actually blocking the pawn, so it's taken, taken. So we captured, but it does have a, a gaping hole. It's just that it is easily defendable by this pawn pushing. Once this rook was coming here, we already talked through that. Just had to place our queen to a nice safe place. So bringing it back. And this innocuous looking queen move. Again, it was kind of strange. I didn't really know what that was. I don't think it benefited them. The gauge bar is actually agreeing with us as well. So that's pretty straightforward on that side. So developing the knight, actually attacking the knight. Uh, it did actually drop us down, didn't it? Uh, minus 3.6. It's saying knight to d7. I don't really see that's getting too fancy. Is that get the opportunity to take a piece off the board? I think I'm taking that. And that shocked me. That shocked the life out of me seeing this rug move. What was the benefit to that? But the computer's saying there was no benefit whatsoever. I mean, it was minus 2 and then it went to minus 8.4. So there was no magic in there. I did. I thought there might have been something, but not clear. But this was a, a sneaky little manoeuvre. I think that's basically what they were all basically aiming for. You know, this queen check here, that was quite a sneaky manoeuvre. But again, it was easily defendable. So we could push the pawn up and then I suppose they just gave up at this point. And that's when they left the game. So interesting game. I think that's it for me today. I played one blitz, I played one classical, that'll do for me. I am not playing bullet. Tak butak, thanks for joining. I'll catch you soon.